Hi guys, my name is Peter and welcome to the video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about AWS budgets. So budgets is an AWS service that help you to track your cost. Uh, so while setting up AWS budget, you can specify a monthly bill amount as well as a threshold value. So if at any month, if your monthly bill goes above this particular threshold value, you will actually receive an email stating that uh, your monthly bill is above your threshold value and thus you can take necessary action. So I suggest that AWS budget is actually a really important service that everyone should actually uh, set up and this can actually save you from a lot of trouble. And in this video, I'm going to show you in detailed manner how we can set up budgets for your AWS account. So right now I am in my AWS console. So to get onto budgets or to set up budgets, let's click on uh, the billing dashboard right here. And in the building dashboard section, uh, right under course management, here you can see an option called as budgets. So let's click on that. So this is the page where we are going to set up our budget. And uh, to create a new budget, let's click on the create budget option right here. And here you can choose your budget type. So either you can go for uh, a template that is a custom built template provided by AWS. Uh, so if you take a look at the templates option right here, you can uh, see zero spend budget, monthly cost budget, daily saving plans, coverage budget, daily reservation, utilization budget. So all of these are templates. You can take in these templates and uh, make changes based on a requirement. But for this particular video, I'm going to go with the customized or uh, the advanced version. So in this case, you can, you'll be having the complete control. You can specify customized or specified requirements based on another uh, need. So here you can see budget types. So AWS help you to kind of uh, select from multiple budget type. And the most important and widely used one is cost budget. So cost, cost budget is nothing but, uh, as I said before, you'll be setting a monthly bill amount and a threshold value. And uh, if your bill amount goes above that threshold value, you will receive a notification. So that is all about cost budget. And the second one is usage budget. So usage budget uh, basically focuses on the usage of services. So for example, uh, if your EC2 instance uh, made uh, uh, made a total uh, uptime up of over five hours, uh, you will receive a notification. I hope that you guys got the point. So it is based on the uh, resources or the service used. And the third one is uh, savings plan budget. So if you have a savings plan for your AWS account, you can uh, track that. As well as you have got reservation budget. <clears throat> so if you have got any sort of reserved uh, resources, you can track uh, the metrics for your res uh, reserved uh, services and uh, if at any point you can kind of trigger an action or trigger um, a notification if any sort of cost goes above a specified level so in this video we are going to set up a cost budget so i'm going to select the cost budget option and i'm going to click on the next button in the bottom part so here you can see how to set up your budget um, tab so it, it actually stay says that the first step is to enter your budget details the second step is to set the budget amount and the third step is to scope your budget. So let's go through these steps one by one. So the first option right here is to set a budget name. So I'm going to set it as um, new budget. All right. And the second option is to set the budget amount. All right. So the first option here is the period. Uh, so when do you want this particular budget amount to be triggered? Is it monthly? Is it daily? Is it quarterly or annually? I want it to be triggered monthly. And the budget renewal type, uh, there are two options. The first one is recurring budget and the, the second one is expiring budget. So by recurring budget, it means that every single month your budget will be set back to zero. So I want that to happen. So I'm going to select recurring budget. And then I have to, I have to select the start month. So I'm going to select May 2023. And this uh, and the next option is budgeting method. So there are a couple of budgeting method. So here you can see the fixed uh, budgeting method. So by fixed budgeting method, uh, it means that I'll be having a fixed amount. Say for example, I'm going to set $50 uh, as my fixed budget. So that is going to be my fixed value. And based on this $50 is what I'm going to set this th threshold on. And the second one is plant. So for each month, I can set a specific value. So if I select the plant uh, option here, you can see that uh, I can set a particular value for each month. For May, I can set a value. Uh, for June, I can set a value. So based on each month, I can set a specific budget amount. And if for a specific month, if that month's budget goes above the threshold value, I'll get a notification. So that's regarding the planned one. 
and the newest feature is called as auto adjusting one so based on uh, the usage as well as the performance or the overall conception of your resources aws itself will suggest a budget and you can kind of uh, set a threshold on top of that but for this video i'm going to go with uh, the fixed one and once you select the fixed budgeting method you need to enter your budget amount so i'm going to select 20 dollars as my uh, monthly budget amount and here the budget scope i'm going to set it for all aws services and after that uh, once i have entered all these things i want to click on the next option in the bottom part and now uh, you can set an alert or basically uh, an alert threshold so your budgeted amount is 20 dollars and on top of this dollar 20 dollar i'm going to set up a threshold so i'm going to click on add an alert threshold so here i can basically set the percentage so if i set 80 uh, 80 percent of the budgeted amount so if 16 dollar or above is my monthly bill i'll actually get a notification so that is how it works so here you can also put a trigger and, and there are two options the first one is the actual and, and the second one is forecasted so actually it's nothing but if your monthly set amount in our case is 20 dollars if the 80 percent of the 20 dollar comes up i'll receive a notification and second one is forecasted so as you know aws actually forecast your monthly bill uh, so if the forecasted value is above 80% uh, of your monthly bill, you'll receive a notification. So that's the difference between actual and forecasted. So I'm going to go with the actual trigger. And here you need to basically specify your uh, email recipients. Uh, you can specify more than one. So I'm going to specify my. All right. And uh, you can also set up uh, AWS symbol notification service as well as AWS chatbot alert. So if you are, uh, if you want more control or more precise tracking, you can set up these as well. But I'm gonna settle with just an email notification. So after that, I'm gonna click on the next option here. And now we have a cool option called as alerts. So here you can see that uh, we have got an 80% threshold. This is the email recipient. The actual cost will be tracked and you can add an action. So what it does is that, let's imagine that you have got five EC2 instances currently running. And these five EC2 instances uh, as, as a wall uh, costed more than 80% of your mon monthly budget. So to this particular uh, threshold value, you can add an action. So this action can be like, if uh, these EC2 instances constituted above 80% of the monthly bill, I can shut off all these EC2 instances. So this kind of actions can be associated with uh, these alerts and, uh, th and this can also help you to save a lot of money. So especially if you are anno unknowingly uh, kind of proficient a couple of resources, these kind of alerts can terminate them. So I hope that you guys, guys got an idea regarding what an alert or what an action is. So to add an action, you can click on the add action button, but I'm not really going to go that deep in this particular video. Uh, and after that, I'm going to click on the next button here. And this gives a complete review. So the budget type is cost budget. The budget details is it's going to start in May 2023. The budget amount is $20. The period is monthly. So I have an alert that actually tracks if the monthly bill amount is above 80%. And as of now, I haven't added any actions. So once all these things are verified, I want to click on the create budget option right over here and my budget is successfully created. So this is actually how you can create a budget for your AWS account. And I strictly suggest all of you guys to create a budget for your account. And this can save you from a lot of trouble as well as generate generating unwanted bill amounts for each month. So I hope that you guys got a basic idea regarding how you can set budgets. Uh, please do leave uh, in the comment section any sort of queries or doubts that you guys have. I'll be happy to help. So that's it. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.